So it finally happened. The dreaded Ableton crash. What are you going to do? You're never going to save that song you've been working on for the last seven months. And you were so close. This was it. It was almost mixed. It was almost perfect. And now your file will not open. So I'm going to show you the fastest and the easiest way to fix your Ableton crash. Let's go. All right, here we are in Ableton. We're going to try to open up a recent project. Let's see what happens. And there we go, ma'am. There it is. The dreaded Ableton Live serious program error has occurred all right option one just go to your project go to backup and see if the last version that was saved will work so we're going to try to open up this backup right now and again we get the same error now i could go back but the previous file is two hours older than that so i'm going to lose two hours of work personally i think there's a better way it's a lot easier I mean, normally I wouldn't even go to these backups, man. I would just do this the way that I'm about to show you. This is my top secret method. I haven't seen anyone else do it exactly like this. We're not gonna look at the crash logs. We're not gonna go to the backups. We're gonna just break all the rules, man. I'm gonna just start up a brand new Ableton session. Now, as soon as this new live set opens up, I'm gonna have to move fast because this is gonna seem like it's not that important, but Let's wait for that to go starting max. Let's wait for that. We're gonna to go to options as fast as we can. Options. We'll go to preferences. Now this seems like it shouldn't be very important, but it's actually the most important thing. Most important part of this process. Cancel scanning plugins immediately. You don't wanna scan any plugins, man. If you let that scan, it will ruin this whole process. And I'll explain why in a minute. So again, go right into your options, your preferences, and go straight to plugins, and you'll see it automatically start scanning. Do not let that thing scan. That is the most important thing. Now again, you can go look at the crash logs. For me, I don't know about you, but for me, I'm gonna say 97% of the time, not 100, but almost without fail, it's some type of plugin conflict. The plugins are not playing nice with Ableton or the plugins are not playing nice with each other or who knows what. Almost every time it's a plugin. So what we're gonna do is real simple. We're gonna go to program files. Now it could be a VST3 or it could just be a VST2 plugin. You don't know. But um, what I'm gonna do is just go straight to my uh, plugins, which by the way, Maybe I'll make a tutorial on this. I've got all my um, VST plugins MK linked to my D drive to save space. So what we're gonna do is super simple. It's fast, it's quick, it's easy. This is the easiest way I've ever seen. Now, if this doesn't work, you could also do this on your VST3 folder. But I'm gonna just go VST plugins, underscore, done. So let's open that file that was a problem before. And there's our project. All right, now of course you're gonna be missing a whole bunch of plugins. I'm gonna let those samples load up. Again, I wanna make sure because Ableton sees that you're missing a whole bunch of plugins. So it may start to rescan again. I can't overemphasize. Do not let Ableton rescan your plugins. So it's not, we're good. Okay. All right, so we wanna go back to this folder. Let's just get rid of that underscore bring it back to VST plugins. Oh, I'm gonna just try to load up this project again. Oh, this shouldn't make any difference. Um, I'm gonna just say no. And there we go, man. It just reloaded the whole thing. I'm not missing any plugins. Now let me explain why it's so important not to let Ableton scan for plugins. Basically, this wouldn't have worked. If you let it scan for plugins and then you reload it, Number one, those plugins are still gonna be missing. Look, I'm not missing any plugins now because I didn't let Ableton scan the plugins. The second thing, if you change the name of the folder like that, it's gonna treat the scan like it's a fresh install of Ableton, meaning every single plugin's gonna have to get verified. Every single trial, they're gonna ask you to activate. Every iLock license, they're gonna ask you to verify. I have UAD subscription. Everything, man, across the board. Literally, before I learned to do this the right way, it would take 
two hours and you have to constantly be clicking. Okay, okay, okay. And Ableton's looking for plugins that you uninstalled like two years ago and saying like, oh, we can't find this plugin. I don't know why it does that, honestly. <laughs> I'm like, you can't find it because I uninstalled it. So why are you asking me about it? But there's some trace of it somewhere. Do not let that happen. Now, if this doesn't work for you, number one, try the same thing on your VST3 plugins because it could be a problem in your VST3. Number two, if it still doesn't work for you, then do the first step, open the file after you change the name of the folder, then go in and change some things in your project. Most producers know like the plugins that are causing real issues. We see the same plugins causing issues over and over and over again. Go in and change some things like maybe, you know, if you're happy with the way this track sounds, I have this track frozen. You could go ahead and just flatten it or you could unfreeze it. You know, you could just um, go in, make a few changes here and there, then then reopen it again right away. And your project's saved, man, just like that. It's the easiest, fastest way I've ever seen to do this. You know, it doesn't require a lot of technical expertise going into crash logs. Of course, if your problem is, you know, something related to drivers or your sound card, this is not going to help with that. But... I don't ever have that problem. Pretty much without fail, every time Ableton crashes is because of some stray plugin that doesn't want to play nice. This will fix that. If it doesn't, like I said, go in, make a few changes, and then open it back up again. It should be fine. Let me know if this works for you. Please like and subscribe. Help me keep growing this channel. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much.